Hello, hello. Just checking in with you all. My name is Shavariel, and we are here right back at our discussions and topics for family wealth. So, family wealth and health. So, let's see. I had a thought on my mind, and I want to talk to the young ladies. So, young ladies, whether in high school or junior high, fresh in college, pretty much anything under 30. I wanna to talk to you all, but first I hope you all are doing well and your families are good and safe. So that's number one, wanna make sure you all are good. So to continue on to this topic, what I hear from a lot of young ladies is that especially those under 24 so talking like i said high school middle school if if it's younger than that watching my videos thank you for watching but i hope your parents are monitoring what you're watching and so but i'm kid friendly so you okay but the thing that I mostly hear, and, and even from my own experience, is that is that of relationships. And most of the time in relationships at that young age, you hear love. And it's love just thrown out, like as if, we're, if it were like water. It's just thrown out. And what I would have liked to have known at that age in high school <laughs> was that, girl, you don't need a relationship right now. You can date, but you don't need to worry about a relationship right now. And love, child, you will get to know that as you grow. So because it's been many instances where young ladies are falling in love, quote unquote, falling in love and just having uh, relations. I started to say the other word, but I know I got to watch my words on here. Being intimate with guys and stuff of that matter and and what is important to know at that age and as you're growing is that relationships with a guy is not that important at that moment okay you have your future ahead of you so you still have school you're still in school junior high high school you're still in school and now you're transitioning from that to the next level. So if you're in junior high, then it's high school. If it's high school, then it's college and so on and so forth. So what is good to understand is that it's good to date, but don't necessarily go head over heels to be in love, particularly with a guy because that can lead to other things. So what do I mean? Of course, fornicating and doing things that are inappropriate, inappropriate just with, and, and I've heard a few stories where a woman in particular, a young lady is just like, well, when I met the guy, I was a virgin, and but we haven't done it, but we've done other things, other things, other things down there. And, but it's just like, but you're, number one, you're no longer a virgin then because you've, engaged in something sexual.
So no, they probably didn't, you probably didn't go all the way with laying down. But you're no longer a virgin because you engaged in something sexual. So that's the thing right there. And then also, when you think about these relationships while you're in school, who or what example of love do you have to refer to be an example of to say, hey, you know, maybe it was your grandparents who were high school sweethearts or because it does happen, childhood sweethearts does happen also. But in those instances, sometimes people either get together in childhood relationships or, or high school sweetheart relationships. They may separate, may, not all the time. Some stay together for years and that is a blessing. If they flourish into marriage and are still married, that's a blessing. But sometimes you come together, you separate, then you come back together and then you move forward on to marriage and then have children, expand your family for homes or investments and so on and so forth. So when I hear that, and there really should be a seminar for this in high school, I say high school because this is where a lot of this stuff happens where you hear like, man, I love her. I love my girlfriend. And it's like, young man, what's the definition of love? Go on and tell me. Go on and tell me. Because I'm sure it's not going to be what you think it is. Love is, is enduring. Love is forever. Love is love, not lust. So, and even for a woman, for a young lady, she'll be like, I love my boyfriend. He was my first. And I just know it's going to work. Okay. Okay. I heard you. Okay. But. Okay. Help me to understand. You're in love. Okay. How long have you known this boy? Okay, how long have you known this boy? Has it been over a year? Because you're throwing that love word out early. <laughs> okay, and you don't even know where this boy is going after high school. Is he going out of state to college or is he going to school abroad? So over in a different country, what is this young man's future? Okay, so when you... It's really important to just think before you get into a relationship at that age, because number one, you're in school. So that's where your focus is in school and deciding your future. So you don't have to just be in, what is it? I know it's a senior, junior, okay, your junior year or even your sophomore year. You don't always have to be toward the end of graduation I'm so sorry. I just heard that, that motorcycle laugh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bear with me, please. I'm sorry. I will work on that. But anyway, going back. You don't have to be toward the end of graduation or near graduation to decide where you're going. You can even decide your freshman year. A lot of athletes decide very early and they work toward, ooh, I will fix that, okay. Uh, if you notice, a lot of athletes start looking at colleges way ahead before sophomore, junior, senior, especially senior year, because by that time, if you don't have a college picked out, and if you don't have a letter of acceptance, more than likely, you may go to community college, or you're just like, okay, maybe not going to college right after high school, but maybe in the next year or two, then, then I'll go. So, but you have to think about these things. And, and like I said, it leads to other things. And I know kids. So with these relationships, 
And I can just see it now because the guys used to do that when we were in high school. They'd be like, oh, you dating such and such. Oh, my girl do this and this and this and that. Your girl will do that too? He'd be like, no, man, but you, but you know what? I'm going to see how far I can go with that. Yeah, yeah. And then his his boy would be like, yeah, bro, tell me, tell me what she, you know, tell me what she do. You know, let me, but no power to you. And he'd be, and he'll be just be like, yeah, okay, I'll let you, <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll let you know, because boys talk, guys talk just the same as women. And then girls, she'll be like in the talking to her friends. She'll be like, girl, how you and your man? I see y'all over there flirting and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What y'all got going on? You'd be like, girl, nothing. We just, we together, but that's it. She'd be like, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, my dude do this. And I do that on him too. So I'm just saying, girl, he ain't gonna wait forever. So you gotta do something because you notice Brittany over there, not not nothing against Britney's, but I'm just saying, for example, just throwing the name out there. Okay. I know I have friends that are Britney's, but Brittany over there, you know she on the cheerleading squad, and you know she be wearing her her skirt with no tights underneath. Girl, you know she only do that when it's a home game and she know your dude over there watching, okay? She will let him have it in all of her. So you might want to hurry up if you want to keep that man. Mm -hmm. And he on varsity too. Girl, I heard he's supposed to be going to the NBA league when he get out of high school. You watch. Girl, he going to be first, first pick of draft and everything. And then she'll just be like, I don't know. You know, I'm not ready for all of that, but I mean, I've known him before, you know, he's getting recognized more as a basketball player or a hockey player, baseball player, whatever it is, ROTC and everything like that. But I'm just not ready. But if he's going to leave me like that, maybe I do need to give him a little something, something. You see? And there it is, right there. There it is. There it is. Poisoning of moral values. So you really have to just, number one, focus on you. I know that sounds redundant and it sounds old fashioned. It sounds old school. There's nothing old about it because we really do. Before we get with somebody, even as adults, before we get with somebody else, we have to clean up ourselves, get ourselves in a position of stability financially. Financially, financial stability is is number one. Well, no, having a relationship with the Lord is number one. Okay, then you want to work on finances because you can't get it without him. Okay, understand that. So. And then the rest just flows with it. Self-love, self-care, self-assurance, self-confidence, being aware, being wisdom, or being wise, understanding, having knowledge, all of that will follow when you're working on yourself. But if you're just like, man, I want a boyfriend or, you know, I all my friends have boyfriends and all, all my friends are getting married or married and I just don't know what to do. I, I want a relationship. You don't necessarily want the, I think, you don't necessarily want the relationship. You're just in love, uh, not in love. You're just fat, infatuated. I hope I said that word right. I'm going to look at my dictionary. Infatuated with the idea of a relationship. You're not necessarily ready. Because like I said, it brings other things. And with that comes peer pressure and a lot of other things. You got to think if you start being intimate at that early age, the risk for STDs is high, high. The risk for pregnancy is high. I'm not shaming nobody that 
have already gone through the process. I've had the same experience and you will hear great leaders or influential leaders who may have a similar story, but they also didn't have messages like this to say, you know what, she's right. I, you know, I just, I can date, but you know, uh, to get in a whole relationship, when you think about relationship, it's more than just you. So you carry that person wanting to make them happy and but that's not what a relationship is about it's about a partnership where you both are wanting to achieve life's goals one god wait what is it how did the pledge go one nation under god goodness <laughs> so <laughs> For courting, it's one relationship under God, which means relationship brings responsibilities. If you think a relationship doesn't have responsibilities, I don't know what you've been reading, but it does. It's more than just the, just like the dream boat or just, oh, we went to lunch and he took me shopping or we went shopping together or anything like that it's beyond that you're 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 getting with someone to achieve goals with and they become responsible for you at some stage i'm talking about core team they become responsible somewhat for you and you become responsible for them somewhat because if you ask you know how they're doing you just ask your boyfriend how you're doing one day and he's just like well you know someone pass away or in my family or something like that now you share that burden because you're just like oh man i i'm so sorry you know so you share that responsibility in that in that way and in other ways too so where i would say young ladies young men young men too okay You're not missing anything in relationships while you're under the age of 20. You're just not. The relationships will be there as you grow and mature. And when you meet the right person, the right woman, the right guy, I'm not saying you're getting married on sight of that person, but when you meet that good person who is right, then you start to see and fill out, okay, here's what I do like in relationships, here's what I don't like. How am I in a relationship? Am I conforming to the other person or I'm staying true to me? You know, and it'll save you a lot of time and heartbreak. And that is something I really wish I had known early at that age. But I know now and I get to share that with you. So what's our objective for younger people who are under the age of 20 24. a relationship is is if you want to date you can date but if you are choosing to be in a relationship really scope out what it is that you're attaching yourself to okay so if you're in high school or school you know your focus is going to school and school work next it's well your self-care then school work then if you're an athlete or or you're a cheerleader because they that that is a sport or maybe you're in your, you're in the book club or a mathematician or spelling bees or whatever it is that you're engineering that's a big thing technology that's a big thing so whatever it is that you're focused on that's where your attention is going to so before you just hop up to say you know i'm um i want to get a relationship or you know I, I got to have somebody well that tells me your self-control 
may need some work because if you don't if you're not asking yourself the right questions as to why you you want to be in a relationship with this person and who is this person you want to be in a relationship with have you looked at their history do you know this person not not just the physical don't just look at the physical don't idolize the body seek the mind and the heart and let me tell you when you start dating people they're not going to give you their their true selves in that first few months or maybe that year so beware of that because they are representing they 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 have presented they're representative so that means if you're telling if you're telling the guy like yeah I like I like it when a guy writes me love letters or send me flowers and then you'd be like Michelle sending you flowers just cuz it's Wednesday love Eric you be like girl He's been giving me flowers every every Wednesday, every week. Not even knowing because you told him the gameplay, he's going to go out and do it. Okay? So, or like a woman. And you just like, yeah, I like for a woman to listen and and not, you know, not over talk me. And she's just like, so, you like to share your feelings with women? And you'd be like, yeah, I just, you know, we, we dudes, we, um, well, they don't say dudes, but we men go through life too like women. And, and it can be hard. She's just like, okay. And you say you're allergic to chocolate, right? He'd be like, yeah, uh, I don't know why, but, you know, my past exes just like weren't listening when they, when I'm just like, I cannot have chocolate. I'm allergic and I like butterscotch anyway. Anything else? I mean, she's not going to say that, but she's just like, she's going to probe him for questions. <laughs> and have those mentally so now when y'all go out to eat and say like they bring the dessert menu and say you had and say the boyfriend had to go to the restroom he's just like i'll be back I, I, i'm coming back and actually come back <laughs> don't stiff her with the bill <laughs> oh and they bring the dessert menus be like okay ma'am will you be having dessert today and she'd be like, okay, okay, got it. Okay, may I have the butterscotch cake and vanilla ice cream? Or you know what? Don't add the vanilla ice cream. I'll just take the butterscotch. Yeah, and I will have the tiramisu. <laughs> Thank you. And then by the time he come back to the table, they'd be like, okay, monsieur butterscotch cake for you and madame your tiramisu and he'll be like girl you got me a butterscotch cake girl you know i like butterscotch that's my flavor not to say a lot of people like butterscotch but i'm wanting not to say vanilla all the time because i don't want to make it seem like i'm stereotyping anybody but those are the main flavors chocolate vanilla but i just threw butterscotch in because there's somebody there it's just like this girl said butterscotch i ain't heard i ain't heard nobody say that <laughs> but then she'll just be like mm -hmm, got brownie points on yeah yeah got that butterscotch mm -hmm, that, that, that's what he like too mm -hmm, just wait just wait i'm wearing them down just wait, I'm going to have him. That's her representative. She don't care about you liking butterscotch. She just doing that so she can get you. So, 
you got to be on your guard, okay? And just be aware and know what you get yourself into. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer them. Good night, y'all.